Hey guys, welcome back to Lux Life TV. And if you're new to my channel, then thank you for stopping by. And if you've been here before, what's up? Thank you for coming back. And first off, I want to say happy, happy new year. Um, if you guys have seen my previous video, then you'd know that I am bringing a couple of changes to this channel. Nothing too major. Um, well, I mean, kind of major because um, I'm not going to be in the country. I'm going to be filming from somewhere else. So that's the first thing. And um, the style of my videos might change a bit. Uh, that's only because um, <clears throat> I don't know what type of internet I'm going to have. I don't know if I'll have a laptop always available. I film on my phone and I usually upload from my phone as well. Um, but uh, right now I'm able to, you know, you know, transfer the videos to my laptop, do a couple of things. I don't have the most like amazing videos. Um, it's just basic editing. I'll have an intro and outro and all that stuff, but um, just to quickly recap, I might just be uploading raw footage, um, kind of like vlog style, um, diary style. So bear with me. Um, but having said that, uh, I wanted to actually uh, touch base on my favorite bags of 2019, and I wasn't able to do that in time because I got sick. <laughs> and uh, just another quick uh, announcement. Um, if I don't have a video uploaded to this channel for any reason, I usually try to get one video every week. But for some reason, if I don't have something, um, check out my website. I'm going to put it right here, uh, luxlifecafe.com. Uh, that is always updated. I have posts, multiple posts every week, and more often than not, I'd say, actually it depends. Um, my videos and my posts tend to correlate. Um, so I wanted to talk about <clears throat> my most favorite bags. Actually, it comes down to two uh, for the year of 2019, and probably most of this year as well. Uh, the first bag I quickly want to touch base with is my... Um, what is this called? The Dunienberg Florentine Murphy backpack. This is the large size in the color natural. I'm just checking here to make sure I stay in frame. And dudes, look, look at how beautiful this bag looks. It's aged so well. And um, this doesn't come with the bag. Um, I think I might have mentioned that before. I'm just trying to bend it back because it's been sitting like this, so it kind of molded. The luggage tag is also by Dunienberg. It is also Florentine leather in the natural color, but it does not come with the bag. I put it on there because I like luggage tags. So, yeah, quick overview. Still loving this bag. I used this most of the year last year. It's been through the rain. I haven't babied the bag. And it still looks beautiful. Um, backpacks and... I don't want to say totes. I'm not really a big tote person. But a satchel that has a shoulder strap. Those are top, like my type of bag. So, for a backpack, this is it. I still use this. I haven't reached for it in a while. Um, honestly, because I was worried about snow and I don't want salt and all that crap coming onto this bag because I love this bag. But I, we haven't had any snow, touch wood, we've been lucky. So I think I might take this out pretty soon. But um, if you guys can see like the darkening here, like, guys, this bag is just, oh, look at that, look at that, right? For some reason, I haven't been able to find, excuse me, the large uh, Murphy bag um, in Florentine leather on the site. Um, I think Dunienberg might have discontinued them, but I know I've seen them in the medium size and maybe a small, I'm not sure. Uh, the pebble grain I still think comes in the large, but for some reason the Florentine one doesn't. I don't know why that is. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is like as of December. I don't know if they've brought them back. Maybe they're revamping colors. I'm not sure, but um, if you can't find it on the Dunienberg website, you can check I Love Duny on eBay. You can check for them uh, pre-loved. Um, quite honestly, I did a whole video about the Florentine leather and I touched based on how, um, for me, it's okay if it's pre-loved because I like the leather to be broken in so it's much more malleable and it suits my lifestyle. Um, with Florentine, I really don't mind them pre-loved at all. Uh, but I'm not saying you have to buy them pre-loved if you want them brand new. That's, that's your thing. I just actually prefer them pre-loved and this bag actually was pre-loved. I do have a brand new one in the Bordeaux color, which um, a friend of mine is using. But I looked out with this bag because this was actually smooth and that bag wasn't. And that's a bit of a pet peeve because for Florentine, you're, you're the um, price point is a bit higher. So you would want your bag to be smooth because that's the whole idea behind Florentine leather. But again, that's a whole other video. If you guys want, I'll put that video here somewhere so you guys can take a look at it. 
But when it comes to backpacks, um, that was definitely my favorite backpack uh, for last year. Um, now, <clears throat> the next bag I'm going to show you, and uh, the last bag, is... Um, I've had this style before, uh, if you guys have watched my Brands on a Budget videos. Um, the first video actually I ever did on this channel back in September, which is so crazy to say, it's been, it's been what, almost six months now? Um, was a Brand on a Budget bag and it was a Speedy, I think the first one I did was a 30, the Speedy 30. Um, since then I have acquired um, the Speedy 35 in the regular monogram print uh, in, the, uh, in the bandolier. Um, and I got it here in Garden City, uh, in Long Island, and I have been obsessed with it since. Like, I know I can't really call it my favorite bag for last year because I haven't had this physical, like, specific bag, but I have had this style for a while. So I guess it's more the style than this particular bag, but I do love this bag. I've been using it since I got it. And like I said, it's the Speedy 35 in the Bandolier in the regular monogram print. And I will go over all the little goodies that are on it. Uh, the first thing you guys might have noticed was this. It's a luggage tag. I'm not sure what leather this is. Um, the Epi leather is the leather I think that has the ridges in it. But this is smooth. Um, I got it pre-loved because um, Louis, Louis, Louis Vuitton. Did I say Looney? Wow. Louis Vuitton doesn't really um, sell the luggage tags separately. Uh, they used to. I think now the only way you can buy one is if you're buying actual luggage. But you can buy them pre-loved and I will put the link down below where I got it. And this is like an immaculate like um, condition. There's a bit of a scratch on it which I don't, I'm not really particular about. It. I don't care. <laughs> but um, I wanted a pop of color because I got mine hot stamped over here in blue. So I thought this would look kind of cool. And um, the ring that it's on, it didn't come with it. it you're only going to get the um, luggage tag. But this ring right here, I got that online also. I don't remember for how much, but I will also link that down below if you guys are looking for it. Um, so yeah, I did get it hot stamped. I do realize once you get it hot stamped, you can't really return it. Um, though I'm sure, God forbid, if anything were to go wrong with the bag, they will fix it. Um, they had better fix it, <laughs> considering the price point of this bag. Um, I have the straps on here. This bag is pretty much full to the brim. And I don't have the extender. And I think the reason for that is, albeit I do love the bag long, but um, right now I I'm kind of enjoying it um, as a regular shoulder bag, which is a bit up in my personal space as opposed to dangling down. I think it's because of the fact that it is so heavy. If it were to swing and keep hitting my leg, it's gonna make it very awkward to walk with such a heavy bag. So that's the only reason I don't have the extender on here. <clears throat> um, second, uh, this thing. So I, like I've mentioned before, really missed out when they had the Murakami like collab with Louis Vuitton where they would do the multicolored um, products. So I've always wanted a key clay. Um, I actually even asked the essays um, in Garden City if they had any in stock and they were like, nope, they were all sold out. Every print. Every type of leather, everything, it was gone. So I knew that if I had a can, like a monogram bag like this, I would want the pop of color in monogram. And obviously they only do the multicolor in the monogram. So I was looking for this on the pre-loved market, got an amazing deal for it, like stupid, like stupid, like cheap. Um, I don't wanna say cheap, but affordable. It's authentic. Um, it, it's a bit worn out, which is okay. Like um, the metal, is like a bit scratched up, a little dull, but the actual like clay is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no stains or anything. The colors have faded just a little bit, but there are no cracks in um, any of the paint. The Vichetta has patinaed, which I don't mind. I love it. And um, there were two styles that came in the multicolor. That's without the Vichetta and then with. I wanted the one with because I think it looks a bit more sleek because it is thinner. So I'll just show you guys, see, like it's in awesome, awesome condition. And the inside, I don't think I have anything in here. Oh, I have a coupon. I have a coupon in here. Um, the inside is just like, I'm going to, like that. And yeah, I just hang it out here. Um, I'll admit, I do worry about it falling off or getting like ripped off, which I mean, it shouldn't. 
so I will carry it like this. But for the most part, I like leaving it on there. I, I think it looks kind of cute. I'm sorry. I heard something really weird. I don't know what that was. Anyway, I'm um, just getting into this bag in a little bit more detail because I have done a brands on a budget on this style in a different print. That was a Damier event. And like I mentioned, um, this is from the boutique. <clears throat> I will say the um, canvas on this bag is pretty thin. Um, I used to have the Neverfull MM um, in the same monogram canvas, which I have since then um, sold. And I will probably do a video on my whole experience with selling that bag. Um, I sold that. I had a Prada tote and I had a Burberry like studded hobo. Um, and I'll get into another video on how... You know, you can sell your bags and how I went about doing it if you guys want like a first hand experience. But the canvas on this bag and that bag are very different. Like I can't compare the canvas between this <clears throat> and like the coin purse or the agenda because all of those are leather lined. I'm pretty sure they're leather lined. This is a material lining, so you can only compare a bag with another bag. You can't compare the canvas with like an accessory because they're made differently if that makes any sense so the canvas on this bag is pretty thin in comparison to the canvas on my Neverfull and I did some research um, looked some stuff up and it seems that because this is the bandolier they went with a thinner canvas so that the bag would be able to accommodate supposedly the weight of um, the side panels like the side strap and that the bag would be able to be more flexible um, and it's supposed to prevent cracking. If the bag uh, if the bag had th thicker canvas um, and if it was stiffer because of the way the bag I guess would <clears throat> fall since you know you pick it up like this um, with the straps it might be more prone to cracking. That's what I've heard. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, I was kind of irked that the canvas is thinner. I'm not saying it's cheap. It's just, yeah, the canvas does feel a bit thinner. And I'm assuming that's the reason why. I don't know. Um, the hardware, it's two different types of hardware. Um, I'm gonna, I don't know if you'll be able to tell this is brushed and this is shiny. See, this is brushed right here. Or if you wanna tell with the key, see, this is shiny, this is brushed. I don't know why they do that, but it is what it is. Um, in terms of patinaing, I've had this for about three weeks and um, I do see a little change in color. I don't mind that at all. I've taken this out of the rain. It wasn't pouring rain. Let me just, you know, start with that. It has been rained on. Um, there were uh, water spots that have gone away. There's no like damage. Um, <clears throat> but I have noticed that parts of the handle have gotten darker and it's going to be hard for me to show you because in this light you're going to be like dude it hasn't patinaed but it will it will patina and i'm okay with that and um it has gotten a little darker well i mean you can't really compare the color here with this i mean you know what i mean it hasn't gotten that dark yet um i do plan on carrying this bag um um <clears throat> in any weather um, if it starts to pour, probably not. Um, if you have a blizzard, probably not. I don't want salt and other crap on this bag. And I do plan on taking this bag with me when I, uh, travel to India in April. It will be my choice of carry-on with another bag. And I'm okay with that. Um, my whole thing is if, if you're going to have a bag that you've, you know, spent your hard-earned money on, use it. Don't baby the bag. Um, cause that's what it's there for. Now quickly, um, with the contents and how I've set up this bag, if you guys have watched my brands on a budget with the speedy style bags, um, the contents really haven't changed um, at all, actually. Um, no, I like maybe, I mean, I have changed into my wallet. I forgot the name of this wallet, but it's just got the four slots and then there's cash in the bag. That's, that's it. Nothing, nothing fancy. Um... <clears throat> I have changed into this wallet. I don't remember the name of it though. Uh, the Jane? I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's got the magenta lining. Um, besides that, nothing has changed. I have gotten an organizer for this bag. I do suggest that you do that. 
first off, if you're going to get a speedy, if you want the thicker canvas, people say um, don't go for the bandolier, go for the classic. So canvas is an issue for you. Go with the classic. I don't know if that holds true, though. So, you know, feel it up. Check it out at the store. Um, but I feel if you're going to do the speedy, the only way to go is the bandolier. It's more practical that way. The second thing is the reason I chose the 35. Now, I feel the 25 is really small and it's meant for like minimalistic type of people. I am paranoid. I like to carry everything with me and I use this as my work bag. So I need to have stuff with me at all times. The 30 looked like a pretty decent size. Um, I won't lie. But once I put my stuff in it, I wasn't sure if it was still big enough because I'm somebody that would want to shove a water bottle, my gloves. Um, if I had a scarf and I got irritated with it, I want to shove that in there. Plus all of my work stuff. Um, you know, with a snack or what have you. So I went with a 35. Five centimeters doesn't make a huge deal. I'm not sure. Because it is called a 35 for those people that don't know why. It's because it's 35 centimeters across. The depth of this bag is pretty big. I'd say it's almost coming into seven inches. Um, you can check out the dimensions. I will link this bag down below. I honestly wanted the Mon Monogram, <laughs> but it was crazy. Like, it's crazy expensive. Um, that's the first thing. Second, that's when you can actually, like, choose the lining color of your bag. I already had, like, this whole, like, color scheme set up, but I don't think I have the patience to wait eight weeks. A lot of people say it doesn't even take eight weeks, depending on when you order it. You can actually wind up getting it sooner. But the thing is, I wanted to have just a small pop of color. And I want something more classic, so I went with this. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's the reason behind that. Um, the 35 has everything, pretty much the 30. And my bags, uh, the um, budget bags did. Everything else is the same. The lining is brown. I do have, there's a zipper on this. Um, but for some reason, I don't know if it's because it's the monogram bag. The zipper in the back, that little pouch, the inside isn't lined with that plasticky material. Like, it's not like, it's the same material as the lining of the bag, whereas in the Demi event, when you open the pocket in the back, it's got like, it's a little, it's lined so that if you were to pour something in there or something were to leak, you could still wipe it off. This is lined the same way as the actual interior of the bag is lined. I don't know if it's because it's a monogram bag or maybe, I don't know, the budget bags didn't copy it properly. I don't know what that is, but it's not a deal breaker. Um, the organizer actually I got in this bag is not a Samorgo organizer because I think those are, unless you're going to get them on sale, are a little ridiculous because it's felt. Let's be real, it's felt. There are great organizers out there. Um, if you just go into Amazon, I literally typed in Speedy 35 bag organizer. And I got one for, I think it was like 20, 25 bucks. I will link that down below if you guys want to check it out. <clears throat> it's got a removable like um, wallet in between. So you can actually, so imagine a rectangle. It's got a, a part in the middle that actually breaks it into two compartments. You can remove the middle. And that middle has like a zip pocket and it's got like um, slip pockets on each side. Now, if you guys want me to do a what's in my bag with this bag, then let me know in the comments down below and I will be more than happy to do that for you. Otherwise, that's just a quick overview. Yeah, that's my bag. Like that's one side. I feel like you're not able to see the whole thing because it's so big. I just turned it, but yeah. It holds everything. It is heavy. Um, this probably weighs like five pounds, I'm not kidding you. Um, and that's partially because I do carry, um, my agenda in here. Another thing that has uh, changed since my last what's in my bag or bag review is this. This again is also the multicolor, just like this. I'm happy I have two pieces now. This was pre-loved as well on, I think it might've been trade and I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm still coming off a cold. This uh, has obviously been like patinaed. That's how it came. I have no problem with that. What I've done then is I can't really justify using this as a planner because it's the PM size. I have two MM size ones. I have one in the Demi event and I have one in the monogram. This is the event. See, size difference. I wish I had the GM, but it's a little too big and I'm happy with this size. So this is what I use to write my blogging ideas in or my YouTube ideas. So it's just plain colored paper. 
Um, all the inserts actually are from file facts. So check them out. Amazing stuff. Um, but what I did with this one is I made this into a wallet. Now there are a lot of videos out there about how you can use this as a wallet where people carry cash in this. I don't do that. The only thing I do is just carry my extra credit cards that I don't really need in here. And the way I've done that, <clears throat> I don't want to open up a page where you're seeing like info, but here we go. Like you can get these inserts um, from Filofax and there's two pockets on each side. So each actually holds four. And I did that. And what I got also was um, this little like zip uh, pouch, I guess for coupons or lo loyalty cards. And here on the side, there are like three slots if you wanted to put cards in there, in the bag. That's what it looks like. So that's it. Uh, it's a bit bulky, yes, but the thing is I have gotten it. I have to find a way to use it. I don't want to like waste it. I mean, I was using this as a notepad and that's absolutely fine. You can do that too. Um, though what I think I would do when I travel is this would be best um, left behind. There's no reason for me to be carrying this unless I wanted to carry it as my wallet, um, which I guess I still could. Um, still on the fence about that. Um, but like I said, you can get the inserts, like these pouches from Filofax, they usually do have a sale and you don't have to get them at Filofax, you can get them anywhere. Um, but that's what I stuck with. You might even find them on Etsy or Amazon. But when you look it up, make sure you're looking up, this is the PM size. So this would be the pocket. Um, this is the pocket size. And if you want that same type of setup with like the little uh, credit card slots, you would want for let's say for the MM size, make sure you look up for the personal size. And then the GM is the A5. But yeah, this would actually make a great travel wallet. I might actually wind up putting my cards and uh, and, and and stuff in here. I'm not I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about this, but yeah, I guess I mean I guess I really could use this as um, a travel wallet. I don't know. But yeah, um, sorry I spaced out over there, but that's the only thing that has changed. Not content wise, but what I use it for. Um, but yeah, this will carry a Kindle. It carries my MM agenda. I've got a couple of toiletries. I have a makeup bag in here. So do let me know if you guys want me to do a what's in my bag with this bag, or maybe an update in a couple of months as to how it's uh, going. I will be carrying this with me to India. so. If you guys want me to wait until I'm there or how I pack it when I travel, I would be more than happy to do that. And before this video gets any longer and I bore you guys to death, I'll end it here. But those are my two favorite bags for last year. Probably this year also. Um, again, like I said, it was the Florentine Murphy bag in the large. And not sure if they still do this bag anymore, but this is in the color natural. Um, you guys need to grab it. It's, it's a beautiful bag. And the second one being my Speedy 35. And yeah, I guess that's it. And I will see you. This is probably my longest video, actually. It is, isn't it? Um, I'll let you go. I'm not going to bore you anymore. But yeah, that's it for now. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.